Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Ultimate Amiibo League. I'm Like a Bosk. And I'm Muzdu. And let's get into the semifinals with Mr. Upset himself, Jin Kazama, versus Sir Bubble. So coming into here, we have an 8 seed versus a 4 seed. Now, can Jin Kazama follow that same pattern as before? Upset a 1 and then upset a 4? Let's find out. I Personally, mean, I hope so. Just because content. But <laughs> <laughs> and we're not even controlling these guys. There's amiibos. Like, they are choosing what they do. And they're doing a good job at it. Bow's Toys has to basically, I think, get third place to call this a successful tournament. Blue, on the other hand, kind of suffered with his loss to Sir Bubble. But Sir Bubble, I think, can actually make it into the finals. At least this tournament, because of Jin Kazama. Nothing against Jin Kazama, but I feel like he doesn't have the adaptability to change from these three characters that he has to fight. Absolutely. I, I do believe he is outmatched, even though I assumed he was outmatched in the most previous fight. <sighs> yeah. It's, it's just like I've been saying. There's a reason we play the rounds, play the games, fight the matches. Because numbers don't mean anything when you're actually in a fight. And so, it's just truly exhilarating, truly fun, and this Ooh, is why we do it. And that as he could, dodges a flare blitz. That that could have been, I was going to say game over, but <laughs> stock over? It, it would have been uh, round one. <laughs> didn't, didn't, didn't. As right. he's taunting, Jin Kazama looked at Blue and Kraken's game from a little bit ago and said, I can taunt just as good as you, as they're even on percents here. Interesting choice for Sir Bubble to come out on this stock with, well, kill percent as he does a nice input command. Well, it could be because he knew that as soon as uh, he respawns as Ivasaur, he's got that little bit of immunity frame, and that gave him that one free hit like we just saw. But, ooh, I thought that Sir was Bubble almost very, messed up. <laughs> very interesting tactic. 6% negligible. Like, it's... It's even here. Oh, 27. He's really getting in there. Now, 50 is something of worth note. Yeah. And let's not forget that there is a moon in the background trying to crash into the earth. That's no moon. <laughs> That's a space station. Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> no, yeah, Star Wars is great. <laughs> we are still looking for names for Sir Bubble's teammates. Because it's Sir Bubble as Squirtle. And if you put a comment on the other videos, sorry, we filmed these in succession. <laughs> that's, that's that's a kill. And yeah, uh -huh. I can tell them, don't worry. I thought it was a kill. <laughs> wow. They're just playing quick. And it's at the three minute mark, which timeout question mark? If it continues at this pace, it's quite potential. It is it is quite like potential, possibly, possibly, maybe, plausible, perhaps. Got to get our MythBusters. <laughs> I don't know if we're sponsored by them. <laughs> oh, we're not sponsored by them. <laughs> but because I'm curious, who's your favorite MythBuster? Ooh. Now, in memory of the late Grant O'Hara. Grant Imahara, my... yeah. Grant was great. Very I'm sorry, smart. How do you say the last name? Grant Imahara. Imahara, I, I was yeah. wrong. He, if y'all don't know who he is, as Jin Kazama continues his dominance in this tournament. Jin, uh, he was the guy who actually helped make R2-D2 move in the prequels. So, pretty good guy. I always enjoyed Heinemann. Of course. I mean, what's not to love about him? But, but yeah, like, like we said, let us know in the Ooh. comments who your favorite is, and that was a great Sir move Bubble. right there. Getting back into this match, and I think he has to stay as Charizard for the rest of this round. He needs to get some high damage on him quickly. I mean, do you see that? Jin Kazama oh, almost died. He should not have gone that deep off stage. He's got to count his lucky stars because he did not deserve to make it back. Nothing against him, just that was too close for comfort. If you're a Kazama fan, you probably had a heart attack there. I know, I had three. <laughs> oh, Jin! And is that ball game! Oh, wow. That he has got to be more careful off stage, but let's not forget, Sir Bubble, congratulations. Moving you have on to made the finals. It. 
wow, that, with how great that match was, I, I wonder how Board Bork's going to do. I mean, he just saw the eight seed get knocked out. Is is there a chance he says, I'm not going to be as bad as you. I'm moving on. So we have Board Bork and Eclipse. I, we've seen this before. I was about to say, didn't we see this in the first tournament? We have seen this before, and... <sighs> I believe Eclipse definitely got the upper hand. <laughs> now, frankly, will we see that again as Board Bork has already had an upset? I mean, anything is possible. It's a different field. Uh, it's now on Battlefield, or not Battlefield, it's on Final Destination form. Might change a little bit of ways how they play, especially the aerial game of Eclipse. But as for Board Bork, his playstyle will remain pretty much the same as he's getting some nice... Skeet slash discus, whatever you want to call it. Clay pigeons. Clay pigeons. Great clay pigeons. They're just going at it. I know how they're technically the type of people who won't get, or the type of amiibos that won't get as much early stock damage and go for kills, but we're only a minute into this and they're both approaching 100%. Now, I've got just a quick question and I could be wrong. Are dogs colorblind? I believe they can only see uh, in various shades of gray, black, and white. Now, could that be why the clay pigeons are not orange? Now, <laughs> I know you said in an earlier video that it's because the original NES, is that correct? Yeah, the NES had them as that design, but... Uh, now, what if that's something they thought about? Now, we could be like that stereotypical English teacher who's reading into poems way too much, like more than the author intended, but that's my take on it. That's just a theory. A game theory. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Now, I, I'm not so sure about that, but let's be sure about how good Eclipse is holding on to her percent here. Absolutely. Board Bork is doing everything he can to just knock her off stage, and he's been really aggressive about it, but yet to no avail. I mean, he's already at 115 on his second life. Now, granted, Eclipse is at 144, 151, and obviously at... Uh, knock distance. Yeah, knockback's gonna be crazy for both but, fighters here. But that's still her first life, and that's what you just have to. He's definitely got it there on a down from smash. From the other side of the map. But he's got to stay alive now with that 138 Absolutely. damage, and that's not an easy thing to do against a character as quick as Eclipse. Absolutely. See. Just like <laughs> that. I mean, it is a true two stock lead. I mean, Board Bork was the same guy that actually got rid of Big Boss. Who was second last last time in the tournament, and now it's Eclipse who's looking pretty up here, and that would be something to see Eclipse versus Sir Bubble. That will be a great fight. At least we hope. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I mean, I don't think we've had a, a stinker of a fight yet. I, I absolutely agree with that. We have had some absolutely exhilarating fights this round, this tournament. Yeah, a lot of surprises, a lot of upsets, and even last tournament. I don't think there was any dull fight. Yeah, there were some fights that were clearly above the rest, but I think they just raised the bar for the competition after seeing that, and they brought all their A game here. As 100%. As Eclipse just continues to lay down any combo she can, she's in it for the long game. It's a war of attrition when you play against her. She's not going to kill you early, but she will give you 65% damage, and you're going to be hurting from it. As that's... Yep. Wall game. With Congrats. a two stock. Wow. That that was quite a showing from Eclipse going into the championship fight. Yeah, that's that's great gameplay from both of those fighters. And before we go into the championship fight, let's go down to the loser's bracket. I'm like a Bosque. And I'm Muzdu. And thank you for watching.